Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about the best stocks to buy now. I got a special one for you today. We're gonna to talk about this triple leveraged ETFs that I like to trade because we're in that volatile time and why not take a little bit of risk and see if we can triple up and get a little leverage and make some money. So stick around, I think you're gonna like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I'm Stock Mo. I'm an old stockbroker and financial planner and now comes on here and trades and has fun and does all kinds of things. Now, it's all for entertainment. Today is a very risky episode. I'm talking about triple leveraged ETFs, so I want everybody to know this is for entertainment only. Anything I'm going to discuss today is for educational purposes and entertainment. And I would ask you to go out and talk to a professional before trading these because they are very dangerous. They lead to high risk, high reward and the risk can lead to zero dollars if it, everything goes wrong. So, before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become part of the family here. We've grown from 200 to over 120,000 in nine weeks, which is awesome. And if you want some free stocks, I got a link down below from Weeble. They'll give you three free stocks for putting 100 bucks in. Two of them from eight to 1,600, and another one's up to $250 from 250, I believe, two or 250. You get, you get $18 at least for putting 100 bucks in with a chance of making thousands. And I did have a few people tell me they got over $100 a stock, which I can confirm that because I got one as well. So it's been good. And of course, if you want to see the stocks I am trading, I'm buying, click down below again. I do have my Patreon over there. We have a Discord if you want to talk with other people who like to trade stocks. I would highly recommend it. We have almost 4,000 members now, and it is a good place to go if you just wanna discuss options, if you wanna talk about different EVs, if you wanna talk about leverage, if you wanna talk about anything, we have thousands of members who are there in, to help. I mean, we basically help each other. So let's talk about today. I have some awesome stocks that I want. I, I like to trade these. Now, I, I do want to start out by saying this is not for the faint of heart. These stocks I'm going to discuss today, this is for education. I do want to teach people about different options out there because a lot of people think, hey, I can buy the stock, I can sell the stock. I can get into options, which is like you're going from zero to a hundred within a second when you do that. Cause it's like regular stocks you can buy, hold, and you should be fine as long as you buy some good value stocks. I have a lot of those over there at my Patreon. I have them in the growth fund. I feel good about it. I know if I come back in three to five years, those stocks will be through the roof. But a lot of people, they, they don't have that. They won't hold on to it. They sell as soon as it drops 10 to 20%. We had yesterday, we had the EV market go upside down and it's because it had such a big run up and it had a correction and I know a lot of people jumped out of that and that is something I try to steer people away from if you're going to buy some stocks buy normal positions buy lots of different ones 20 to 40 diversify and you don't have to worry about that as much and you can just come back in a few years and you'll be very happy you did now what about those though who want more risk this is more for you intermediate to advanced people today what happens if i i understand that mo i know what diversity is i'm looking for more risk i got some side money i want to go all in on some things and i'm just looking to see what can give me but i don't want to do options i don't want to go that route i want to have an opportunity to go forward and make some big money without the risk of going broke like that because it the the option expires so today I'm gonna to give you a few I'm gonna give you four of the best ETF stocks to buy now four of the best stocks to buy now and I think you're gonna like these because these are my favorite because I've had so much success with these in trading going forward and I've, I've taken a few hits on them when the markets start to turn they crash these have hurt as well. So these are, I'm gonna start out right now and we're gonna get into it. And we're gonna start with FNGU. And FNGU is a micro sectors FANG plus, triple leveraged. And this is pretty neat because it gives you triple leverage of, let's get in here, I have them in here. And you can see these right here. These are the holdings that make up the stock. So when we look in here, you can see Twitter, 12.8%, Tesla, 12.17%, basically 10% for the next three, you know, Apple, Facebook, uh, Alf, uh, Google, uh, Alibaba, I know a lot of people like that as well, and Netflix, Amazon, 
and I believe it's Baidu and NVIDIA, 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 I always say NVIDIA, NVIDIA, and you got that, and there you go. You got your 10 stocks making up this portfolio, and basically, if you look at these stocks, these are, these are good companies, and this is why I like this one. If you pick 10 great stocks to pick and say, I wanna put them in a portfolio, you're always gonna have a few of these stocks in there, all right? And of course, you know, I'm huge on Tesla, and Twitter just surprised me. It's making up the, the bulk of this at 12.88%. So we put these in there, and basically the, the, the return you get daily should be three times what this is, and that's something we can look into because if you feel good about these companies going forward, you can triple leverage them by buying FNGU. Now, how does FNGU look on a graph? This is since, ooh, back in February 2018. So this is over the last two years, good and bad. I could have went further. I could have made this look even more attractive, but what I wanted to do is give you two years through the bad time and the good time. So if you started right here and you watch this and you're like, hey, I'm going into that, Mo, I like it. You would have bought in at $56 a share. And we know what happens, you would've got all the way up to 80 and you would've been very happy. And uh, wow, I'm up almost 50%. And then all of a sudden, within, oh, a good six, seven months, you lost 75% of all your money. That is the danger of these triple leverage ETFs. And you would've been down 50% from here, you would've been down 75% from here. And I think a lot of people put the blinders on when they look at these stocks, these ETFs, I'm just gonna call them stocks. And when they look at these and they think, I'm just gonna go with it, I'm gonna put some money in, I'm gonna walk away. And the problem is you can't because these things are very, very volatile. Remember, they're doing three times whatever the market is. So then we get in, the, we get in here at $22 a share, and all of a sudden we had that first run, five times your money. But now you doubled your money from here. So if you stuck it out, got just like that EV market, Market, if you can get through that stomach churning, the down days, you have a chance. This is why I think these are the best stocks to buy now because they give you the opportunity going forward when I think there's going to be a recovery. So I do see a recovery coming and that is one of the reasons I like it. But when you look at this, and if we're wrong, if we don't do it right, this thing got all the way up to 100 and then within, and we know what happened in February and March, we had the big drop. And that drop was COVID, and it got back down to the 27, 28 era. And so once again, we lost 50% of where we started from, and this is just crazy. So it goes from 20 something dollars all the way up to right now, 192. It actually got up to 255. And we know for all us in that tech industry that the last ooh, six, seven weeks, we had some a lot of red in there. And you can see the red starting to come down and how they had that drop. And now we had a little bit better recovery. So now we're at 192. So if you did hold through all this, you would be up almost four times your money. And that is in two years. And that is a lot of losses though. Remember here, you were all up to 100 and you lost three fourths of your money again. And so there is gonna be in multiple times in two years, you lost 75% of all your money. Now I've heard a lot of people throw th theories out there. Uh, can I dollar cost average into this and just say put a hundred bucks into each paycheck and just keep riding it out? I mean, theoretically you can, but you have to understand that there is requirements of how much money you have in the market for this. You gotta remember that there is a certain amount of money you need to keep in your account to keep these. And you, you'll you see that uh, requirement in there when you're looking up the stock. And it usually has a little symbol, you can check it out. I'm not sure if it's the same for everything or if each brokerage house has their own. So as you go through this, you will see how, how much it can do for you. And so the next one I wanna talk about is TECL. This is more of a tech one, and this is a triple leverage, and if you look at the stocks here, basically two big ones make this one up. Apple, which happens to be one of my top stocks to buy, and I think this is one of the top stocks to buy now, and it should be for just about everyone, because I think Apple has huge 
potential going forward. I made a video on it. If you want to watch the video on that, I think they have a lot of programs coming out. The, the Apple One per, uh, uh, subscription program. We have the new hardware coming out with the iPhone 12. And it's just, I think they have a lot of good things coming out. And I'm, I, I bought a few companies out there to match up with Apple to take advantage of them going forward. I have them over at the Patreon. Shameless plug, I know, but come on over and join us. Help support the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. So when we go through here, you can see the top 15 holdings. And as you, you can just read through them, and I'm pretty impressed with them. And these are a lot of the ones I, I really, really like right now. And it's pretty interesting. I see that going some good places. And it basically takes the return of these and triples that. So once we get over here and we come over and look at this one, gives us much the same. If we started here, and we'll go back to two years ago, 131, back to 68, we lost half our money, not three-fourths. But then we got all the way up to here, we would have been up 600% by that time. We'd have made six times our money. And then of course, COVID hits and we go from 320, all we lose 60, 70% of our money. And then we end up 414, that was the big push. That's when I got worried. I started making the videos about tech is over inflated. We need to pull back, start putting money in financials, in the EVs, because the tech is way high. And then we got it 414. Now we had that nice pullback and you can see it down to 330. So from 414 down to 3, uh, 330, it lost 20, well, what did it lose? 20%, roughly 20%, which is a nice correction. 20% is a nice correction. Usually when I see 40% on this one, I usually start buying and doing a little dollar cost average into it because I feel pretty good. But right now, I think we need to get through a few things, but if you're gonna buy it, usually you're picking it up before everything's fine because when everything's fine is when the stock's already up there you want to get in there at the danger when everybody else is running you should be looking saying hey is this the time for me to load this thing up and when i say load it up don't put all your money in one stock remember this is for the, the those who are looking to have a little exposure for a little bit more risk but not options but they don't want single so they want to take advantage of some of the stocks I just showed that make up these funds and do a little bit of leveraging and they see a positive outlook. Now, the good news is there's actually uh, triple leverage stocks to do the opposite of these. So if you are someone out there who believes the stock market is going to go down, they have these stocks, but they, you can just Google the, you can Google this, you'll find them, the inverse of these, and it'll pop right up for you. And then you can go the opposite and buy those and hope that the stock market goes down and you'll make triple leverage on that. Now I do have two of them. And the first one is XPXL. This is a very simple S&P 500 triple leverage fund. So if you bought that two, uh, two years ago, we can see where this was roughly says 50 and now we're at 63 after two years of craziness. You know, you were all the way up to 70, 76. This is not as wild as the other one, but it did get down there, $19 a share. So you would have lost 60% of your money from here. And then, but look at 19, you're all the way back up to this, which would have been triple your money. You would have tripled your money, which is incredible. So you have that option to go on there. And the opposite of that for anybody that's watching is SPXU. And that is one where if you own that here going down, you make a ton. If you reverse it into SPXL going back up, you do very well. So today I just wanted to talk about something different. A lot of people know I've been talking about my EVs and I'm gonna get back to that, but not to not in this video. This video, I just wanted to give everybody some education on triple leverage funds, my favorite ones. I think the S&P 500 and the tech, and of course I like TECL and I love F. NGU as my favorite ones. And then of course, the S&P 500 with SPXL. So these are my best stocks to buy now, my best ETF stocks to buy now. I hope you liked them. Uh, like I said, if you are gonna trade in them, please be very, very careful. This is not something you just say, hey, he made a video about it, I'm gonna throw all my money into it. And if you do that, there's a good chance you could lose 75% of it if this COVID outbreak you know, makes a major shutdown and people aren't working again. and it could go bad real quick. So you always got to be careful and just remember some of that. So thank you for stopping by. Hopefully this was a good lesson for those who didn't never see. I know there's a lot of people out there who never got to see 
uh, triple lever stocks and now you can see some and see how they are and take a look yourself so i do appreciate everybody stopping by god you know it's saturday come on over and check out the patreon sign up for those we will get some free stocks while you're doing it so i appreciate everybody's time let's get out there and make some money Thank you.